What's up everybody? So in today's video we will learn how to make a random quote generator in React and this is what the final product will look like right here. We have a quote right in the middle right below that we have the quotes author and right at the very top we have a button that says gimme quote. Now this is grabbing quotes from a random quote API that will randomly give us new quotes every single time we click the button. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new React app. So to do that, what you're going to do is npx create react app and then give it the name of quote generator. And since I've already made my react app, I'm just going to be working inside of here. But once you're done with it, once you have uh, created the react app, you will see this basic template right here. Just go ahead and cd into the folder and do npm start and that will start up the app. Cool, so my application has started and the first thing that I will do is open up my app.js file right here and I will create a new terminal and I'll install Axios. So I'll do npm i Axios and I will also do import Axios from Axios. Cool, so now we're done installing all of our dependencies so I'm going to minimize my terminal and inside of my function app I'm going to convert this to ES6 syntax so I'll do const app is equal to parentheses arrow function and inside of here I will do const quote set quote is equal to use state empty uh, string and I'll do const author set author is equal to use state empty strings so the first one is going to be used to show our quote that we're going to get and the second one will be used to show the author of the quote all right so now we will create the function that will grab data from the api and the api was made by a guy named luke pv uh, he has some great documentation for the api the link to that is in the description below so right underneath this use state, I will do const quote API. And inside of here, I will do let array of quotes is equal to empty array. And I'll do try catch block console.log error. And I'll also add an async right here, forgot to do that. And here I will do const data is equal to axios dot get parentheses https colon double slash api dot quotable dot io slash random so this will just grab us a random quote every single time and right underneath that let's do console dot log data and let's see what we get Alright, so I just realized that we're not actually running our quote API function every, anywhere. So I will create a use effect and I will run it inside of there. So right underneath this, I will add an empty array block. And inside of the use effect, I will just call our function quote API, save that. And let's go into the app and see what we will get. So we have a hello world right here, but we should get a, uh, a result from the API. So promise, inside the promise we have, what the hell is it? Okay, so we have promise value, data, inside of the data we have the content and we have the author. Cool. All right, so now let's set our uh, quote and our author to be what we're getting from our API. So let's go into the API real quick, I mean the app. Uh, and we'll see that it goes from uh, data to dot data and inside of there we will get author and content so let's do right underneath this we'll do array of quotes is equal to data dot data and I'll get rid of this console log we don't need that anymore and right underneath this try catch block I will create another try catch block console.log error if there is one and right inside of here I will do set quote to be array of quotes dot content 
and the other one was set author to be array of quotes dot author oops I don't want to delete that save that and inside of this return right here I will give her the hello world and let's just print what we have so we'll have a quote and we will have a author so let's save it and see what it looks like did it just break on me content of undefined is it not content what was it hold on uh console dialog array of quotes okay let's see what it is undefined oh maybe it's not data dot data maybe it's just data hold on okay and now it should work hopefully problems is pending how long do you need a pen damn it so data dot content yeah it should just be this is strange this is really strange why are you being like this right now oh wait I need a I know. now it should work forgot about the await there we go so now we need now we need to do data dot data to be able to access the data that probably made no sense but there we go now we have the quote and we have the author of the quote all right so now let's create the button that every single time that we click it it'll run the function quote api and it'll grab us a new uh quote so inside of this right underneath the author i will do a button tag and i'll do on click is equal to quote api and i'll do give me quote oh my god my keyboard is so tiny okay give me quote there we go and so now i run it and we'll grab a new quote by the man of knowledge must only be must be able to not only love his enemies but also hate his friends <laughs> okay by Fre Fre friedrich nice all right anyways all right so technically this is a functioning app we could just end the tutorial right here but it looks really really disgusting so let's edit the style a little bit and make it look a little bit better so the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of this console log because it's already annoying me and instead of this class app i will make another div tag and i'll give it the class name of quote box and i'll create another div and give it the class name of container and I'll make another div tag and I'll call it class name of quote boat home and inside of here I'll just put in the button there we go and underneath that I will create another div tag and I'll call it class oops class name is equal to a quote and I will just put in the quote that is in curly braces right inside of here and I'll create another div tag and I will call it class name is equal to author and I'll just type in author and I'll just create a, get rid of this author right here oops save that it shouldn't break anything there we go now it looks a little bit more indented let's add some more coloration and a box to it all right so what i'm going to do is import dot slash quote dot css and i'll make that file right now quote dot css and i'll save this just to make sure that everything is connected and the first thing that i'll do is target the class name app so i'll do display flex justify content center min height 100 vh background color i'll do hashtag c 0 c uh no, 0 6 c 8 4 and now i'll also make the quote box as well so quote box position i'll do to be absolute background color i'll do hashtag 6c5b7b 
and I'll do width to be 500 pixels. I'll do top at 50%, left 50%, transform. I'll do translate at oops, negative 50% and negative 50%. Padding, I'll do a 2EM border whoops not border background origin that's not even a thing border radius I'll do 10 pixels by 10 pixels by 10 pixels by 10 pixels save that and let's see how it looks it looks a lot better it looks way better all right now let's spice up the button a little bit more so I will target the button to do that I'll do quote button and I'll do position relative margin auto oops margin left auto and margin right auto not margin auto completely margin right auto and now I'm going to target button since we only have one button this is fine um, but in any other can in any other sense you would uh, make an ID and target that so background color I'll do hashtag 44c767 border radius I'll do 28 pixels border one pixel solid whoops solid hashtag 18ab29 right I also need the colon or the semicolon I mean and display inline block Cursor pointer ah color hashtag F F F F F F font family Arial font size seventeen pixels padding sixteen pixels by thirty one pixels text decoration to be none and text shadow I'll do zero pixels one pixel zero pixel hashtag 2f6627 man it'd be really impressive if I, if I knew this off of just my mind cool it looks a lot better but uh, is that an effect that when we actually click it, it sort of pushes itself down a little bit and comes right back up? So to do that, I will do button, hover, background, color, hashtag, 5CBF2A, and button active position relative and top at one pixel let's try that out and now if I click it now we have that little bit of an effect that it pushes down just just a smidge all right so now let's add a little bit more CSS so I will target the quote this time and I'll do margin 1 em for this and for the author, I will do float right margin uh, 1 em. And let's see how that looks. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. So let's just fool around with the size of it. So the quote is right here. I will do an H3. I think that's good. And let's take this quote, put it inside of here, and let's see what it looks like. Cool, that looks a lot better, a lot easier to read. Uh, let's get rid of this console. Yeah, that's a lot better. Actually, let's try an H2 instead. I wish I could do like H2.73. Cool, there we go. Now it looks, now it looks really good, at least in my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did and it helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And uh, the link to the GitHub repo for this project is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next one.